Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at insulating the bed of the CR10 or the Creality CR10. So I've got this aluminized uh, heat barrier adhesive back. So it should really just stick on here. So this is what I'm going to give it a try. So this is um, meant for automotive applications and, and uh, the firewall and heat shielding. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what we got. This I, this I believe... If I take this out, let's get this over here. Uh, how big is this? I thought it was should be twice the size. I don't know. Oh, here it is. So it's 12 by 24. So that's one of the reasons that I got this is it should fit pretty much, and it does the heated bed. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut this piece and to size and I will be back in a second. Okay, so I cut this and uh, a couple things that uh, I kind of want to share. So I've left it a little bit proud of the edges. Um, because again, I don't think that that's a big issue. So I left it, you know, maybe about two millimeters uh, proud of the edges here and here. It butts up pretty tight here. Now I did notch this out. So this is about uh, uh, three, roughly three by three centimeters, real close guess. Uh, so I'm not touching this these uh, wires. Because remember, I've got uh, this uh, standoff that's gonna, this strain relief that's gonna go uh, in there too, like I showed in a, another video. Also, what I did is because the edges are round, I just took a pair of scissors and nipped off the three other corners here just to kind of make it so, uh, you know, the points didn't stick out and it was a little bit cleaner look. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, attempt to turn this over, and this is always the fun part, is I'm going to try to pull up the adhesive backing and what I want to do is I want to just pull it up a little bit because what I want to do is um, take this and peel this piece up and put this plastic underneath so it kind of acts as a little bit of buffer so I can line this up. I'm going to use this to to line this up now there's there's a little there's a white line here I'm gonna kind of use this as a as an edge guide I'm a little bit particular about uh, trying to lay out things as, as neatly as possible and I'm gonna try and get this roughly centered so I want to make sure I've got everything laying out where it should and uh, it's gonna go so now what I'm going to do I'm just going to press this this edge down and then I'm going to kind of work it in and it's going to stick it's sticking actually very well to uh, to this now I'm kind of wondering how the heat the the um, this side is going to go into the back how that's going to do with the heat I don't think it's going to be hot enough where it's going to be an issue but we will we will experiment and see and so I'm just going to use this, pull this, and then kind of work myself forward. I also have this little roller that I'm going to use. You can see the uh, thermocoupler, thermistor right there. So just kind of use this to kind of get it down. And again, just kind of you can see the wires pulling, so I'm just doing this, and I'm going to pull this pretty much the rest of the way out. All right. So I especially want to get the edges with this roller. Yep. That feels good. Might have it a little bit closer to that edge than this edge down here, but that's okay. 
not that particular. And again, just kind of roll it out. I want to be careful around the thermistor and the uh, wires. Okay, so we have that. And then now, what I'm going to do is flip this over like this. And I'm going to take my X-Acto knife and I'm going to pop some holes in here for the bolts to go through. See this? Alright, so that's now done. And so we have the uh, holes poked in there. Oh, there's where that hole is. I didn't really get that one that good on there. I want to make sure. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is go put this back on the printer. It's going to be basically assemble um, like you disassembled it. It just, the four screws come out. So I tell you what, I'm going to go put it on the printer and we'll meet back over there. Okay, welcome back. So we've got the bed reinstalled. We have the uh, insulation on the bottom. I've got the floor set up over here. It's recording, as you can see. I've got the other Kodak camera over here to record the uh, screen of the controller. So let's go ahead and let's um, take a look at uh, turning this up to 72 degrees. Now I'm going to time lapse this fast forward hitting 72 degrees. Now the goal is to be 6 minutes 30 seconds because this has been the typical average I've run on this bed getting it up to temperature so we'll see if insulating that bottom has made a difference. Okay, so we're back. So we're up to temperature. We're up to 72 degrees. Uh, it only took six minutes. It was about 30 seconds faster uh, to get to temperature, which isn't a huge difference. I was sort of expecting more. The bottom of the bed is, is a bit warm, uh, so there's still a lot of heat leaching through. I'm wondering if sandwiching, you know, probably putting two sheets, if I doubled this up, if it would be better. One of the things I want to do is take a reading off the uh, non-contact here and see what we're reading. So I'm getting about 66, I'm getting pretty close to about, six, just a little bit short of 67 degrees on the, well, I, made, I think I made 67, so I think I got it right there, about 67.2 degrees. Um, so I'm roughly, what, about 5 degrees off. So this is about what I was getting before. It might be a little bit better. It might be a slight improvement. However, one of the things, if you notice on the floor, though, I, I think there's a little bit better heat distribution on the bed itself. There's still quite a bit to the back over here that we're seeing and a little bit less to the front. Uh, but overall, the heat signature, I think, is a little bit better. Uh, I personally think uh, I may, uh, when I do another round of modifications, take this off and put a second one on here. Now, one of the pieces that, you know, folks may point out is actually this is designed to be flipped. Whereas this insulative, this aluminized surface is supposed to be facing the heat, so this should be facing the bottom. 
where I put it with the the tape sticking down now you know my hopes was again this fiber that's in here make sure I get the screen fiber in here and this backing would act as a reverse insulator to kind of uh, force the heat back up but I think I'm thinking if I put another one a second one down here what will happen is it will act to, to kind of trap the heat in the second unit or in this first unit I should say or first application and then it'll uh, do a little bit better job so I don't know it'd be a future project so I think this was a little bit better I mean clearly empirically it heated up 30 seconds faster I would have liked to see more like at least a minute but 30 seconds is 30 seconds and one of the things I think it's doing is it's holding the heat in the bed again I'm going back to the floor image and uh, I, I I think from the floor image itself you know I'm reading about 74 75 degrees in the, in the center and so I want to take this I want to see if this is uh, now see this is what's a little bit interesting I'm now up to 68 degrees or 69 now this this is interesting so I'm gonna take back a little bit of what I said because one of the things that you noticed before in the other two videos where I did this once it hit 72 this bed stayed the same temperature but what you can see in the floor as when it's heating up it's it's still uh, helping maintain the heat in the bed sort of like ceramic bricks on the other side like in, in, in a kiln or something like that because again if you notice the FLIR image continues to get brighter and brighter we're now at 11 minutes uh, 44 seconds and the fact that this is also climbed because we did our first run I need to kind of get around all these cameras we did our first run at 67 then we had we hit 69 I want to get over here so and I'm at 69.1 so it's hovering right there about 69 uh, so 69 whoop, to get it down here 69.5 so I, I think this actually might be doing some good with regards to retaining heat in the bed uh, again I go back to I think putting two sheets of insulative material on here because it's so thin would be better um, than one sheet so that's going to be my recommendation is that pack comes uh, basically into with two one foot squares I would try putting two of them on rather than just one in, in the future and that's actually what I'm going to do with this again at the next modification is do that because again we still see on the floor that it's still building heat in the uh, in the bed and we're up around 75 in, in the core and as you see the heat signature is beginning to shift around a little bit uh, you know as the bed oscillates on and off so anyways I, I think this is good um, how much I think is going to be a little bit subjective to printing so I'll keep you guys posted as I print more jobs and then in the future when I tear this bed apart again uh, I'll let you guys know how it works after I put the second layer on in the future. But I need to get the printing on some stuff because doing all these bed tests has kept me from printing and i got a lot of things I want to get done. So anyways, hopefully you found this interesting. Swag shop up there. Subscribe over there. Comments below. Let me know what you think. I'll have the link to this insulative material. It's not that expensive, so I think it was worth doing uh, down below. And hey, we'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel.